Good afternoon. I hope you're doing amazing. I'm going to jump right in. As you could tell from the title, we're going to be talking about five top essentials that must be in your 2024 vision board as a self-concept coach. So I want to just sort of pivot into what most people will be focusing on at this time, which is their goals, how they will see themselves and how they will experience themselves in hopefully an elevated way. And I want to just jump out, like jump ahead of the curve in terms of what people are thinking, but also ways to just talk about ways that we can really start to solidify what it is that we want. And that by doing that, we're being really clear about what it is that we want so that we can start to quantum leap and shift into the version of self that already has our desire. So if you're speaking to me or if you're listening to me and you are a law of assumption, self-concept or or manifestation coach, I have a bundle that is really low in price and it is just $111. It is a self-concept mastery bundle that really creates a foundation for you to not just expand your self-awareness, but to really get self-regulated and embodied in your desire. So if you're interested in grabbing that bundle, definitely send me a DM and I could flip you the link. And right now, again, it's $111. It's going to be, again, as low as it can be before the new year so that you could grab it and you could really get started on this journey. So I want to jump into this this live because I know that if you're in this realm or in this like industry, you really want to step into the version of yourself and this could be your on an identity you know belief system level is that you really want to get to a space where you are feeling like your community or people who are really wanting to transform their life are gravitating to you and are being pulled toward you and getting pulled into your world but you unfortunately cannot do that because you may be in a space where you are unable to show up for whatever reason you might have a limiting um, a limitation that is holding you back and you really want to get to a space of okay well i know that i'm feeling overwhelmed or i'm feeling uh imposter syndrome or i'm feeling just downright unworthy of like like of what it is that I want and how do I move from this space to a space where I know that my services are in high demand and I know that my services are exactly what this individual wants and how do I make sure that I actually show that message on social media whenever I'm meeting someone whenever I'm you know networking out offline or online how do I make sure that I am displaying my services and just my expertise in the best way possible. And I want you to know that I have been at your space right now where you are just sort of in this not being fully aware about even what to post or what to do next. And I feel like it's really important to to anchor in to that unknowingness and really like understand why you might be going through those thoughts why you might be going through the limitations and why you might be going through this these emotional blocks it's most likely because you still have a limitation about yourself about who you are in relation to your desire and aside from you uh ignoring that aspect of yourself right now in this now moment i believe that you would be called you should be feeling that you are called to really sit with yourself and and be able to demonstrate what it is that you actually want to experience by getting really clear about what it is that you actually want and really ask yourself who do you have to be in order to step into this version of yourself so that question is really important because i'm going to get into why you want to be really clear about what it is that you want last year i did a vision board and i thought that it was really clear i put the house on i put my dream car on i put my relationship goals on i put my 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 financial goals on but the thing is when i look at the vision board and for those of you who are in this live and are just curious as to what it looked like i'm going to share it on my live um, or on my story but what 
when I look at it right now, it's it's not very tangible, right? And I really want to, and I I'm, and I say that because I have not been able to quantify or measure what it is that I actually want. Therefore, there's there's absolutely, it's almost like I'm going through my desires blindly, right? Because I won't be able to identify in my mind what it is that I actually want in those particular areas. But I can I can say that. I put a lot of feeling states on my vision board, which allowed me to to get just a taste of what it is that I knew that I wanted for myself. And I knew that going into this vision board and really um, dialing in on what it is that I wanted, that it wasn't going to be, I wasn't going to be able to do it in a year. So I already knew that could be a, a, a limitation, of course, but I immediately knew that all the things that I put on my vision board... I probably was not going to be able to accomplish all in one year. This time around, I am being extra clear and more intentional about the feeling states behind what it is that I actually put. So I put in, again, I told you what I put on. I put my relationship goals. I put on some money. I didn't put in a dollar amount to that money. I did not again or going back to the relationship i didn't get specific about the type of relationship that i wanted on my vision board i did not and these are just you know things that i'm looking at in terms of reflection and things that i would change moving forward so that's why i'm sharing it with you now is that again like the car the home like it was more like okay i'm gonna objectify what it is that i want and then later on figure out how (laughs) i want to actually feel as I am the version of self that already has these things, right? So it's less about just slapping things on the board. And I know that if you're in this space that you know that is is it's more intentional than that. It's more it's more how it's more about how you can embody what it is that you know that you already have and how you could bring that down from the ethers, from your thoughts, from just your imagination and how you could bring it down to the level where you are actually experiencing reality which is 3d so this is really important and i want to get through the um the the top five essential just essential steps and the must-haves that you want to make sure that you include in your 2024 vision board because the clearer you get the better and better you are going to get at materializing what it is that you want instantaneously right so i want you to include these things on your 2024 vision board and you let me know the experience that you get i know you probably are not planning to do a vision board anytime soon or it might be in a few days a few weeks and hopefully you do get you know kind of you sit yourself down and you really either journal or script what it is that you want this year for me to be honest with you i may or may not do a vision board if it's like a you know, one of those things where it's like a group thing, I would be more than honored to do that. But I feel like even if you are materializing or manifesting from a space of like, you know, wanting to be private, I 100% agree with it. And I feel like even if I have the opportunity to go out and and do this in a group setting, I personally right now, it like it doesn't feel good within my body right now to go out and, and do this creation. To be honest with you, I feel like if I were to just sit myself down and get really anchored in on the exact specifics on what it is that I want to have on this on this vision board, I would feel more, much more comfortable with, with that and, and being able to put myself, you know, really put myself, hold myself accountable and put sit myself down and really bang out what it is that I want to have in my vision board moving forward without any distractions. So I completely get it. And so I, what I really want to, to share with you, and I'll share with you at the end of the live, is that you want to get to a space where you are really clear about the states that you want to be in, okay? And I think that this is really important. I just want to note down what I did um what i did after that i want to to share with you that that really shifted me into the version of self that already had everything that was on my vision board so okay so that's all noted down really want you to get clear on sort of like what i mentioned yesterday on 
the just creating a baseline of your self-awareness oh i didn't mention that yesterday actually but a, a reel will be coming out talking about a baseline self-awareness that you will have to create for yourself in order to pivot from if you do if you do tend to spiral or get into your your false belief again because oftentimes when we shift and because we cannot see the physical shift sometimes when we're on this self-concept journey and manifestation journey we tend to fall back into lower states of of being right and and lower self-concept or old self-concept um and old limitations so sometimes when you are going through manifestations when you're going through the technique it feels amazing and then throughout your day you're kind of like you know dwelling into the old again thought patterns but what you really want to do is create a baseline awareness which is some of us will call it um, the mental diet like neville goddard mentions and you really want to get to a space where you are giving yourself a baseline of what the thoughts that you can think like the beliefs that you can have and just the beliefs and the thoughts that you cannot touch meaning that you're putting a restriction on your old self-concept because you're no longer that person. And I know that you are you may be doing this in your mind and it probably will be easier to do this on paper, like on a in a journal or on a just a blank sheet of paper of all the things that you will not be able or not allow yourself to engage in. So the things meaning the feeling states, the thoughts and the beliefs that you will no longer engage in moving forward, especially if you are wanting to really quantify uh, your results and and really quantum leap into the version of self that already has your desire there already and I'm saying this because there are already thoughts and beliefs that are not even in your peripheral as you are the version of self that already has all of your desires so think about it what are the things that you just will not accept and you will not engage in as you are the version of self that is ideal what are the belief systems she has or he has? What are the beliefs or the thoughts that they have? The inner self dialogue, right? The feeling states or just what are the things that you're just an absolute non-negotiable? It's, it's the same as when you were in a relationship, right? What are your non-negotiables for what you put your self-awareness and your attention to? And that's therefore you are creating a baseline as to what you are not able to tolerate and what is a non-negotiable versus what you will be engaging in and what you will be um, tolerating in and of course and it's not even a toleration at that point because you are assuming that you are aligned in your belief system you are really imagining thinking feeling believing from a place of already having this desire so you really want to get a a baseline of not just your self-regulation not just your self-awareness but your self-regulation as well what does your self-awareness or and your regulation look like especially if you are this version that already has it especially if you are the version of self that is for instance a coach a self-concept coach and you know that your services are in demand and all you have to do is tap into that belief that you are in demand therefore your your community, your tribe of clients, your your ideal clients are going to come toward you and they're going to be the version of of a version of your of yourself of course in the past, but they're also going to be a version of them that is required of them to actually commit to pay, paying attention to your services and actually allowing themselves to transform themselves from the inside out because you were given those services, right? you were guiding them through the steps of how to actually become what it is that they that they truly want to be and how they want to experience themselves and their and their life so you really want to get clear on your self-regulation and however you want to spin it i put a tub um that looked like a spa like a really nice tub in my um in my vision board and what that did is it really allowed me to calm myself and whenever i do look at my vision board it does portray a certain feeling state and i will again i'll share this in my stories for those of you who are just curious i i made sure that if i were to look at this every single morning which i do that it was going to be the symbolic again physical form representation of exactly what i want to experience in the future and bringing that 
emotional experience to my present moment. So that's exactly what you want to do. And aside from that, oh, or you know, you want to make sure that you do that for every essential step that I have here. So the first one was self-regulation. The next one is your beliefs. So you want to make sure that you are portraying the ideal beliefs, the aligned beliefs that you want to have, that you already have as this ideal version in your in your vision board, in your 2024 vision board. You also want to make sure that you are are putting images that you are are emotionally drawn to and i feel like that's really important because you want to start to imagine from already having this this thing you want to start to impress the subconscious mind with this visual imagery and this is why i if you're in my stories if if you're in my stories that you see like visual images of, of travel visual images of of maybe like houses and interior design and and that's what i that's my thing like interior design is my thing and it's really it really portrays a certain uh like i would say self-expression and freeness and and especially when i do the travel ones i really do get a sense of of freedom when i do share that in my stories so I really want you to to again get into a space where you are not holding back from what it is that you want and you are so anchored in your belief that you know that this is your birthright that you are meant to live a life of abundance and freedom and location freedom financial freedom etc like you really want to get to a space where you are creating the freedom from the inside outward right and so you want to get really deep in those um those visual imagery right in that visual imagery and you want to get to a space where you are also able to journal about it so um and that's what i oh my god i just slipped i was going to save that for the end of the live but i put it right beside this imagination and and being able to impress your subconscious mind with this 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 um imagination and this um imaginary visually visualization whatever like a lot of us call it different things right but imagination visualization meditation um just imagery like you want to make sure that though there are even symbols and and again pictures or even videos that you pay, you know pay attention to on a repeatable basis on a continuous basis that will allow you to provoke these emotions that 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 really tell the subconscious mind that it is safe it is okay it is more than safe obviously it is okay and it is also the exact image that i want you to materialize for me so you are really training your subconscious mind to to create this experience for yourself right and and i bring back um i want to bring back the attention to journaling because i was able to not only journal what it is that i wanted but also shift my perspective to now believing that i am this version of self that already has my desire and i was able to script from a place of already having it and when you do that and i'm going to get into some journal prompts uh, a little bit later but when you do that you really want to start to see you want to start to feel you want to start to um hear you want to start to smell and touch all the things that you really want to experience in this live now moment and that's really it's not tricky when you do the practice when you actually do the you know the the affirming and the scripting and really uh affirming the version of self that already has this desire so Im imagination is really important because you want to get that energy in your subconscious mind and you want to get to a point where you are embodying this imagery like you are embodying this version of self that already has your desire and you want to get really clear on what your embodiment looks like for many of us the embodiment is just okay well i, I want to get three paid you know like fully paid in full clients and i want to make sure that i never have to want anything else financially while i'm running my business full time that could be your embodiment right and that could be that you are showing up every day and you are making sure that you are reaching out to the coaches in your community or your ideal clients in your community and you are letting them know that you are serving them right 
And so you really want to, again, like be descriptive. Is it, um, you know, maybe not just coaching, but you want to start to get in, into the feeling state of, of bringing in 5, 10, 15K months. I spoke about how I was able to materialize 10K months without working more. I was just able to embody that version of self that, that was able to materialize a 10K month. <clears throat> and that again i think that really changed my beliefs in believing that i knew that on some le some level that i knew that this version of self was receiving 10k months on a consistent basis and what that version of self looked like and and how she was thinking feeling seeing touching smelling all of these senses right and how i was able to bring that version of self to the present moment and really quantum leaping into that version of self in this present moment so you cannot again you cannot see your shifts you cannot see your leaps but it is really important that you get anchored in the belief system that will allow you to automatically get those inner imaginal feeling states, those inner imaginal um, conversations, those discussions. You really want to get anchored in those feeling states because even if you don't get into the feeling state, and I know that for some of us, we're introverted. We're not really um, the type of coach or the manifester or creator that is really like, like, I would say expressive, like openly expressive and just really into the feeling state until you actually, and for me, it's for me as well. It's like, if you are really into the beliefs and you have your aligned beliefs and your subconscious mind is, is fully accepting that, you don't have to think too hard about your feeling states, right? I, I personally have to have something in front of me that will allow me to feel deeper into my feeling states. But for others like for others like just like you or someone else they can actually evoke those feelings from within without having anything in front of them right so again this is the practice and and if you know that you don't have to be overly stimulated in like in live time in order to get the feeling state then you don't have to work as hard right um you just you just have to make sure that you are anchored in your belief system versus the feeling state right and then for those of you who are easily able to tap into those feeling states you just have to make sure that as you are feeling into this that you are feeling it on a consistent basis and it's probably going to be i mean it might be easier or harder depending on what it is that you're thinking and believing but you can very much shift states automatically by aligning your beliefs just as much as you could shift feeling states and and really materialize what it is that you want it really depends on how your subconscious mind is is responding to you and and how it is easily able to be saturated and impressed with this new belief system you know feeling state etc and the last one is that you really want to bring this down at uh, in into your you know your your conscious moment right now into your lifetime moment right now as a lifestyle so again for those of you who want to make sure that you are experiencing the time location uh, financial freedom the building of wealth really stepping into your abundance it's really important to to feel into that freedom like you really have to tap into that freedom some way somehow and I understand that's probably why you're making this 2024 vision board but you also want to make sure that a vision board can only be as good as your beliefs it could only be as good as your imagination your vision board could only be as good as what you will allow yourself to experience on on your internal in your you know internal mind so that you can start to reflect exactly what it is that you want in live time right so think of Think of your vision board as another mirror, another mirror of what it is that you want. And, and the fact that you're bringing it down, I feel like the act in itself is is it's really like it's really life changing and life transformational because you are dropping everything that you have thought of, everything that you can ever imagine, any desire that you could ever think of. You're dropping it down to to physical form and that in itself is a is is really quantum physics right you're shifting yourself into the version of self that already has your desire and it's transformational because you are living it in the now moment and what that's going to do if you sustain that and you consistently repeat those you know beliefs and inner thought um inner 
inner thoughts, but inner self dialogues and feeling states on a consistent basis, you will see a lot of changes happening before you. And it's not because you put a whole bunch of stuff on a vision board. It is because you got anchored in your regulation, your beliefs, your imagination, your embodiment, and really bringing, again, that self-concept version of yourself to this reality, to this dimension, because everything that we think is all in the ethers. It's all in, you know, 4D, and we want to start to bring those, um, you know, those desires down to to physical reality. Otherwise, what's the point of, of doing the, the techniques or the, um, the vision board or the scripting and the journaling, right? So I want to just end this by saying, yes, really get clear about what it is that you want to experience. Get clear about what it is that you want to make sure that you're anchoring in on in terms of embodiment in your in your life, right? Because it's one thing that it's on a board, but it's another thing when you really want to experience this on a uh, really specific level, like on a very specific self-aware level. And so you really have to ask yourself, like, if it's wealth, like, what is your desired monthly income? If it is signing new clients, what are these clients going through right now? What, how, how will you be able to service them in a way that they know that they have to invest in you? Because again, your services are what? They're in high demand, right? So what do you need to portray to them and let them know that will be enough for them to say, okay, well, I'm going to commit to this. I really want to transform my life experience. I want to start to experience life in a completely different, new, elevated, um, evolved way. So, and, and even if it is, you know, not related to coaching still, what does that look like? What does your freedom, your, your desire to live in a free environment in a free life as a free person, what does that look like? Does that look like you get to travel? And where do you get to travel to? Do you get to do the travels at a certain amount of time? When do you get to do this? Where will you go? So you really want to get anchored into all entering all of these questions as much as you can, of course. And just to pivot off of, of that is that I have Uh, a series of journal prompts for you in the self-concept mastery bundle so if you really want to get deeper into these these uh, journal prompts especially as you are working on your 2024 vision board or just your overall goals here's a, a quick way it's almost like a catalyst as to how you're going to shift in this now moment into the version of self that already has your desire and the bundle is only 111 dollars okay so um and i will be updating that bundle uh, i wonder if i notice if i also let you know that the emotional self uh the emotional block i think it's emotional releasing so it's emotional block releasing um pdf that is also in it so it's a false belief releasing roadmap and what it does is it actually allows you to see and experience yourself in a a different way because it it releases obviously it helps you release your false belief but it also helps you to see yourself beyond your limitation so again this this bundle is is really for someone who is aware not just only aware but is is aware of what it is that they're going through but also want to know the next step as to how to actually release their limitation and even if you have released your limitation to a certain degree and you really want to get to the journal prompts and really shifting into the version of self that is already embodied this is the bundle for you so this is really going to capture all of the levels of awareness so not just your limiting self but also your um, aligned belief self your um, you know just your future version self but also just really wanting you to um, but really shifting you into the version of self that is also embodied and is able to maintain those um, those feeling states and those embodiments throughout your lifetime throughout you know the rest of your life again this is like the type of These skills, honestly, are the type of skills that are life-changing for as long as you live. So as long as you have your mind, as long as you are alive, as long as you want to desire and experience desire on a consistent basis, this is exactly what is going to make sure that 
this is exactly what you need in order to make sure that your desires actually come to life. So again, this is going to hit every stage of awareness. Don't think that this bundle is not for you because you're new to self-concept or you're new to law of assumption. This is for you if you are here in this live and you are wanting to experience yourself and of course reality in a completely different and new and holistic and again transformation transformational and desirable way. On that note, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you on the next live. Cheers.